what's up today we'll um i just thought i'll like you know show you how i made my uh, latest release called trip it's going to be a short video if you have any questions comment and i will get back to you let's jump in i'm actually going to mute the vocals for now and we'll jump to the vocal production later So that's majority of my song. This is that one guitar loop through the entire song, and yeah, it's uh, so I played the initial guitar line, and then a friend of mine, Chris, he played the actual guitars on this. We went through straight plugged it into my interface and used this PRS amps. It sounds really good. You guys need to check it out. and then in the intro there's just one automation where the eq just like you know rolls off it's just a cut off yeah. that's the guitars entirely yeah There is one song where people ask me what this is. That's basically the entire vocal track uh, added with a bunch of reverb and then reversed it and then chopped the first part. Yeah, just get that. And the drums on this like a lot of people won't believe the drums are actually stock logic drums. for the kick it's a, a kick from the depth charge i layer my snares and there's a clap so this is my kick let's just loop this section and there's a snare too like you know i just added like a flavor kind of thing which yeah like i do like again it's from a snare from this machine called beat machine that's pretty much the entire verse and then there's an 808 that i muted the 808 here but i bounced it out yeah there's no processing it's again a stock logic es2 synth like a sine wave i don't even think i brought it down in octave i just used the octave on my midi and just played i just messed around with the attack edsr settings on non loop and there was my 808 so is two guitar parts that like you know uh, i'll solo them out for you quite simple and then the other one becomes on the right side together it sounds like build up so there's a like i have a cymbal swell which i use in like almost all my songs i mean i know i really like it and and there's a down hit here it's kind of like it's kind of like an impact song 
this works well let's see what all is there keyscape piano everything is a wash just hone on chord and i have the synth this is like my go to like serum is my go to synth plugin created this patch called slow attack but then actually pull up the attack yeah. this is automated the cut off that's basically it yeah i can just look at the cut off again that's not a hi hat it's basically a clock sound Yeah, after the half way, it just repeats again, but then there's a build up now. And that build up is basically uh, it's a trap clap from I don't know this thing called trap door I think. That's a clap. This goes like, and then I have a fat snare, like you know, it's one of the samples I collected over the years. And that's doing the same thing. There's a kick also doing the same thing, so I decided to cut the lows on the snare. Now it's just that high attack is there along with the clap, it sounds really nice. That fill, it's actually from a from an Apple loop. This one. That's basically it. And then let's get to the drop part. Okay, so the drop again. Apple loop drum beat. And how does my eight wave? And it has my synth sound. Now this synth is actually very easy to create it's like on uh, I, I created a serum it was like two oscillators two basic sign uh, saw waves with nine voices unison and eleven a little bit of detune on both and straight up attack when I hit LFO see how these two levels light up so LFO one is controlling the levels and this rate button this rate knob Rather. That's what I used to make that wobble sound. So I automate it. Hmm? Together they sound like this. One small fill here. Again, it's an apple loop. I've just, you know, messed around with the cutoff. It's rolled off the high end. Here we got. We have the second part of the drop, which is basically the same thing, except it has a vocal chop I've done. So I actually did the vocal chop in another project and bounced it out to here. So this is how it sounds. So 
so this basically vocal chops is uh, chopped up like different parts of the vocals reverse some pitch shifted some and ended up with this melody which played on the keyboard second part of the drop fully and then you have the second verse and the build up which are almost the same in the build up there's a small a top layer that i'm adding and then it's the same thing and then we go to the drop drums here uh there's a bunch of my samples put into badly and played out then i have this like one sample that like you know it's a hit it's got a nice reverb at the end so it's like that with the 808 sounds really and you have the same fill here Always when you're doing electronic hi hats, make sure you pitch shift them here and there so that there's movement. It doesn't sound very static. Actually, that's the instrumental part of it. Let's quickly jump onto the vocals. All I have is like basic tuning, compressor, DS, and another compressor. And then that that goes into its own reverb and delay bus. So I use Valhalla for the reverb. My favorite reverb plugin is this, and H delay for my delays. I was broken and smoking shit I wouldn't name. Lying, provoking some things. Here, there are like there's one small layer, which is basically just this. Mind, it's so insane. It'd be the same how we go again every time. I just copy pasted this section. I just copy to another track and then pitched it an octave low. And this is how it sounds by itself. So insane, it'd be the same how we go with the tracks. It's so insane, it'd be the same how we go again. You get the nice low end. So. Every time. That's pretty much it on the verse and the build up. There's a section of harmonies and some in the pre chorus build up. Rest of the night. And a lot of DS and an LA3A on the back of vocals. small thing yeah in verse 2 there's some delay throw i've added i am like when i am the one and i am like 21 
was basically just copying that the limelight that word to track and just chucking some delay on it. When this section comes, I bring back like you know, copy pasted, copy that part of the vocals. This part. Uh, so in this part, like I just copy the melody, same melody, onto the pitch shifted down track, and that's. <laughs> In the build up, uh, there's an octave high. I copy pasted the melody and pitched it an octave high. It sounds like this. Sounds like a chipmunk, but works well. Gets higher, I can be shamed inside quite a fantasy. Rest and then you have the same harmonies coming in, and so in the drop, like a bunch of outro vocals that are like very spacey and stuff. Talking about my demons out. There's a bunch of vocals with a lot of reverb. Actually, I use shimmer. Let's hear it without the shimmer. That's it guys, so that's how I wrote this. If you have any doubts, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Any questions, feel free to ask. If you guys want another breakdown of any of the other songs, let me know. I'll do one for you guys. Peace.